All right. Part two. Part two. I'm Leslie. I'm Noelle. And we are Behind the Games. Behind the Games. So we left off with part two. Mm -hmm. The doctor coming in, you pass all the tests, and they are going to do stitches. They're going to do stitches. Do they tell you how many stitches? Do they? <laughs> no. They and, just your, said, and your boyfriend's there, and his, he's probably like, shit. And he's like, because they bring in this big thing that has a hole, like a tarp. To put over my head, but the hole was literally like that big, and I'm thinking, how big of a gash is this? Oh my god! I had no clue how. I still had no clue what it was. Are you laying down? Yeah. You... Well, no, I'm sitting up. They don't okay. want me laying down. And um, the one guy comes in and he has to flush it, and he's just there for a long time. And they, well, the, they had to lidocaine it, and so I, I at that, then I couldn't feel anything. Okay. So I could just feel like the water. Right. So, but he's there for. Ever. And I'm like, was it that dirty that they got? It was the floor, COVID. They're taking the Cracking jokes. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, because now there's no more burning pain. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, you yeah. know. And, and my boyfriend was just kind of like looking. <laughs> and then um, the guy comes to stitch. And then again, he's there for forever. And so you're like the queen of, did you get a film? Did you film it? Right. Were you, were you, were you saying that? Were you like, pictures? I would be like, no, pictures. No, I didn't even think that way. Because that's when I, I didn't know I had a concussion. I didn't know I had a concussion until I went home. They told me I had a concussion. But I can't rem like, I, I still have no short-term memory. And it's kind of like... So I, I'm just talking, like I talk right now, even right now, I talk, I was talking weird, real slow, repeating myself. And so they're... I, yeah, uh, she hasn't once repeated herself, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it's been... It's, it's still uh, early. Night. It's like only a few days, give it time. <laughs> I'm like, great, I already have enough problem with my memory as it is, this is yeah. going to add to it. But um, anyways... <laughs> Um, the doctor's like stitching it and stitching it and stitching it, and I can feel him tugging and pulling, and I'm still thinking it's like this, you know, a straight line, and, and finally... And those are, they're giant stitches. They're not like the little bitty, like, I mean, they're like the, I mean, it, it yeah. <laughs> it's pretty severe, like, ugh. Yeah, because you're looking like this close to me. Yeah, it's, they're, they're big. Yeah, and it looks funky because it looks like that's drawn on there and that's just the skin folded. One of the first things I told Noelle was you make a black eye and stitches look good because <laughs> it still looks really pretty. So, Thank yeah. you. I, I need that. Yeah, because I'm like, I, I, it went right down the middle of my eyebrow. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. great. <laughs> I'm just hoping that this part of the scar turns like a scar when the stitches are out. It'll be know. fine. It'll be fine. Because that, that is just killing me. It'll be fine. But anyways, it was so least of your problem. You're fucking alive. I know, right? I still didn't even dawn on me like how bad it was. It will. I think it'll it'll hit it'll like I said, with concussion, it's gonna it's like a roller coaster. Like emotions are gonna be right. so out of whack. Well and I didn't even know what had happened when Joanna was still there before my boyfriend showed up. You know, she's they have security there because it's such a great gym, which is one of the we're gonna do in one of these episodes. I'm gonna like really talk about the gym and you know how great it is. But they have cameras everywhere, so it was filmed. So she was sitting in the chair because I was saying, "What happened? What happened? I don't remember what happened." She's like, "Do you want to see?" And I was like, "Yeah." And so she only showed me, like she pulled the phone away after, but she showed me like me setting it up and getting into it, and then the thing falling out from behind me, and she, she pulled the phone away after that. And I just saw her going, Ooh, you know, <laughs> and I was just like, I, so I had no idea what happened after the, the, the platform went out from underneath me yeah. and uh, until like you told me. Well, and I didn't know, honestly, if you were okay until later in the day when you text me back. Because, I don't even remember if I, you. Well, cause I called you and Joanna I don't answered, she did recover, she's mm -hmm. fine, you know, she's getting stitched up, but like, I still didn't know what happened. What happened. And, from the stories of everybody that was at the gym, they were so shook up. They were like asking me, people that I didn't even know, I guess that knew us together, were like, is she alive? Is her skull cracked? I mean, it was bad. Yeah. It was very bad. Which I didn't even really, it, I guess because- and I keep trying to tell her like how bad it was because you need to know, like you were so fucking lucky to be alive. Well, there was a series of, I don't know what time it is, or how are we doing on time? Five minutes. Okay. There was a series of things that happened, which we'll probably go into the next episode, but I do know for a fact one thing is because my hands were trapped, and when I went over, and I don't know when I blacked out, I guess I blacked out right after when I hit, yeah. instantly hit it, but 
is like a, the doctor told me it appears because I had a you know I usually wear my ball cap and I had a ball cap on but it appears that I ducked my head so I had to have been awake to do that right because it wasn't just if it was just been dead weight that's away. from your wrestling days yeah I think it's something came in. but yeah, yeah. yeah that's why this is where the initial mm -hmm. opening was if I just would have went flat face coming out of a dead lip, you broke your nose. You could have been I, dead. I probably would have paralyzed myself. I probably would have broke my neck. And um, that was another thing that we're going to touch on too: consistency of working out and heavy lifting, like I do with my profession with bodybuilding. This is why I love bodybuilding: is that I was my body was able to withstand a full head on with a concrete floor from a, an impact. And being wrapped up, I mean, nothing. And this is a freak accident. I mean, this could happen to anybody. Anybody. So. Even if I would have had a spotter. Yeah, it still could happen. Because because you have to, if you do heavy, you have to wear straps. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was just. I don't think the straps are what the problem was. I think it was, that was hindering getting you up because there was so much blood. I mean, mm -hmm. it was, they, from what I hear, it was a lot. Blood. It was bad, and they were just worried that you know you I was going to bleed out, even die, yeah. mm -hmm. or that I was dead, because I, I was unconscious apparently until they got me. Rough. Which, but I do, I do think that it it, it is because even the doctor said that he was he's like it's being as the the shape that you're in as healthy as you are is huge, and I was like, well, that's kind of what we always talk about when people ask us is consistency and just doing something. And also with the whole healing part is a lot of what we're talking about, which we'll touch on in one of our next episodes of what I'm doing now. Yeah. Because there's a lot that goes on. I mean, this is not just me waking up the next day and everything's fine. How was the first night, the first, well, today is the first morning, so how was that? The first night I had to sleep sitting up and prop myself up so I wouldn't accidentally fall over. It was horrible. So you said you're also having trouble remembering if you ate or drank. I yeah. Mean, what else are you? Um, I can't remember no, like conversations. I don't remember conversations. Like I can't. If you were asking me what I've said ten minutes ago, I wouldn't. I know that we talked and what we've been talking about, but I couldn't tell you word no. for word what it would be. I mean, even getting here, I have to look at a piece of paper with them. And that was one of my first things I asked you: is is somebody with you? Because you won't. You won't. If you have a concussion, you're not going to know if your speech is starting to slur. If you could have, you know, bleeding of the brain. Yeah. And the first thing she said, she's like, "Oh no, I'm not working too." So mm -hmm. that was really good. They took off work, and he mm -hmm. was able to stay with you. And my ex, and my daughter-in-law, uh, Melina, she was she also stayed okay. too as well, and she was there the next day. Oh good. So I had somebody there the next day, at least for part of the day. I'm pretty hard headed. Do you have a headache? I mean, I know you're like full body hurts. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be. I have a headache that comes and goes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the first night I really did I mean they get they prescribed me um, painkiller and uh, nausea medicine but I didn't want to fill it unless I absolutely had to all that is is a band-aid it's not gonna help you like I absolutely you might as well just deal with the pain get it over with and but I will say this before y'all start I already see people typing before y'all get your panties in a wad both Leslie and I tr tr believe it I am not because I've been in the medical field. I know if I absolutely need painkiller, I will be the first person to take it. I will right. not put my body at risk. But if it's something that I can deal with, with a leave, which I was taking a leave every four hours, and it, and I do have a high tolerance to pain. That's also what people don't understand. Right. So I can take a little bit more. But at any point in time, I had that prescription, and I knew how much it would cost. Sometimes just get knowing that it's there helps like it helps you like it okay yeah and i am not one of those people like i said and you're the same way we we would not put ourselves at risk just to not take something i wouldn't want okay me personally i wouldn't want to deal with the constipation <laughs> i have enough issues yeah. in that department like yeah. i can just look at a pain pill and i'll be stopped up for a yeah. week so i'm good well i'm, I'm kind good. of of that of the uh, uh, i know that my body is fighting so hard right now to detox and to and heal that the last thing I need to do is to put chemicals in it and yeah. to numb me, right. unless if it's I can just, take something over the counter. And it's just prolonging uh, what the inevitable. Of yeah, it. and I'm not being strong and I'm not being stubborn. I legitimately, because of my pain tolerance, I I'm lucky and grateful enough that I can take over the counter. Well, but also you, you want to know like the cognitive effect. Like you don't want to take something that's going to make you feel a certain way, and then you don't know. Is this a concussion or is this the pain pill? Yeah. So it's I was, very smart that you're not. Well, at that first moment, I mean, at that first day, see, I can't even form my words. Right. I, you have to keep up the time today. Oh. 
Um, that first day I was, I didn't show it, but I was really trying to deal with the concussion. Like I was, I was like, I don't want to take, if I don't have to, I don't want to take something that's going to make me more groggy when I'm trying to just, like I was literally trying to, what's my name? What day is it? What year is it? What are my kids' names? You know, what happened? You know, I'm trying to remember. And then I'm trying to like, that's a refrigerator. That's a stove. So the last thing I would want to do if I don't need it is to take some, some like a pain medicine that's going to make me less, like you said, cognitive. Right. Because the, I always believe those first few days with a concussion are literally, they're just so crucial for you to Excuse get your me. memory back. Excuse me, yeah. And in order for this to heal, my lymphatic system has to start functioning. So I have to move. Right. So if I am not where I have to lay down and can't move, I need to get up. And if I'm taking shit. But mind you, you also have two broken toes. I have what? Two broken toes. Yeah, well, I'm used to broken toes. <laughs> so, I mean, I can I walk think a little. It makes that a little harder, though. Yeah, I, I, actually, I didn't even know they were broken until I took my shoe off. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and she had to pull on her legs. She didn't know it was there until. Until I took my pants off and saw it. <laughs> Crazy. And then the same with my knee, until I knelt down on my knee. And it's like, oh, I'm God. sure there's going to be a lot of more aches and pains. Oh, this whole side of my, from my neck and shoulder, like, it hurts to. Yeah. Yeah. And my spine, my spine hurts. Um, I have something like when I swallow or cough that's here and I think it's from the bar. bar. Yeah. But no no broke ribs. That's good. Which I know we're coming close, which we'll talk on the next one of why this is got the blunt I mean, this is the worst and everything else That'll probably be the last one because we have a lot of people that want to think of the next one. I do. Because so. that was pivotal on my getting everything I mean, that was pivotal. I really believe that it was pivotal in saving my life. Yes. So on that note, we're going to stop it here and go to part three. And I can't uh, stop <laughs> uh, Yeah. So um, keep following us on the YouTube. That's the most consistent platform behind games. Mm -hmm. And I'm Leslie. I'm Noelle. And we are behind, behind the games. The games.